here's the stove jack we used for this project we found on Amazon. All right. So I put water on this about two hours ago. And that's just dirt because I was placing it and leaving it out. But look how waterproof that is. Look at that. So waterproof. Can I touch? Yeah. Waterproof. It's not wet. No, it's not. All well, the water's wet, but the the fabric is not. It just beads up. And let's see what the back side looks like. Pump that water off. Oh, it was right there. No water on the inside. Wow. Let's check out how inside. Oh, look at that. You can kind of see some fibrous fibers on there. Ooh. You helping, Daddy? Yeah, set up a table inside so we have a good solid workspace. Pretty flat, left the tension on. And then getting it lined up with that seam. Okay, prepping my seam here so I can get a clean edge. I'm gonna use a brush as soon as I find it. Oh, here's my brush. My brush to uh, brush it in on the top and the bottom. And then I'll roll that over. And then have that to iron out any bubbles. I'm gonna retrim the top real quick. So I just noticed if I'm gonna be painting it on this side, it'll probably slop over here. I didn't have that taped off as much. Okay, how exciting. It's gonna look awesome. Okay, just double checking, got the Velcro down that side. All right, let's send it, see what happens. Oh, so here's the test piece I just did. After maybe 10 minutes. Say it's a, uh, you wash it after three, wear it after 30 seconds. It's pretty impressive. Very impressive stuff. Okay, here goes. Oh wow, that brush is getting it in real great. Working it in, that's exactly what you want, just work it in. It is fast drying material, so you need to work fast. Thick already. Gotta work quick. Oh, it's sticking. We gotta get it now. Gotta go fast. Let's work it. Roller on it. 
here and rub it in there. Get it the seam all sorted out. All right, here's the update. Just glue down. We started with the top, did the right, just did the left. All we got left is the bottom here. Looks like I, uh, oh yeah, jumped the gun just a little bit right there. But looks like it's holding pretty strong to where the glue doesn't want to separate. It's glued, glued there. And then the, right there, I left myself a little bit. So is take off the this side the under part served its purpose Taking these off. Pull off the spots that weren't quite all the way adhered to the material. Good adhesion. Oh yeah, look at that, it wants to fight it. Wow. All right, let's remove the tape and do this last one. Helps bind it physically, and then uh, after that, the zoom does what it needs to do, and you're winning that way. Already super excited about how well this is turning out. It's okay, you want to give yourself enough room. You don't want to have your canvas on your tape, which is kind of where we're running up here. So I'm just going to give it some more. All right, I think we're ready for the last pass here. With that being said, Doing that last panel, the rest of the tube turned to uh, solid. So, all right, coming up on a couple of minutes of dry time here. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. That's impressive with tear mender. All right, getting ready to cut the hole. See the uh, glue actually came through. Looks great everywhere else. Got the top rolled up. As soon as we cut through, we'll see the sky. So here I am putting my stove together. I put these little things on the outside and then uh, use this. So, 
Cut away. Cut, cut, cut. There, it's definitely easy to definitely easy to undo that. And then roll it down and go outside. And give it the final Ta-da! Sweet! It's got the uh, start of a fire there. Full open. Look at that. It's already... Uh, Definitely want to do this outside because it really just kind of stinky. Here, let's get that closer. I run it. jack that I installed it's absolutely dry stove jack dry on the inside